In this lesson, you will learn how to set up Google Cloud Vision with UiPath. I have created a workflow here and a drag in a sequence. I right click, rename and I call it main. That's where all our activities goes. Then I go to my browser. I head to consolve.developers.google.com. That's the API library. The first thing that we want to do is to create an API key. So we go to credentials. And then we want to create an API key. So up in the create, create credentials, click API key. There we have it. We copy it and go back to UiPath. So we have our main open here. We go down to variables and we create a variable to hold the API key. We can call it SDR key. Then it's a string and the default value will be quotation marks and then paste in our API key, control V. That's it. Then we go back to our browser because we need to enable our API, the Google Cloud Vision API. So click library. And we can either search for it or find the Google Vision API here. In case you can't find it, just search for it. Then we will enable it by clicking enable. And now we're done in the browser. We just need to verify that it indeed has enabled. And that's it. So now we can go back to UiPath. To use these activities, we need to go to manage packages and then we go to all packages and we search for Google Vision. Uh, and we choose this one. Be sure that it's the UiPath.Google Vision activities by UiPath and not something else. Then we click install and we click save. We wait a little while while it's downloading the package and installing it. And I can uh, I prepared a little case. We will go deeper into the Google Vision activities in the next tutorials in this series. But um, I have a little handwritten document here. I saved this image on my desktop, and it's basically just some, well, not very fine handwriting. That's my own, and it says, "How is your day?" on four lines. So I close this one down, and we can try to. Look at the activities. So search for Google and then under Vision, we can see what we got here. So to use these activities, we need an outer scope and that's this Google Vision scope. Drag this in. Having this mark, that means that it's blue. We will, under the authentication type, click the drop down here and choose API key. Then under API key, we just put in STR key. That was our API key that we created. And now we can drag in activities from this vision. So I want to uh, have this handwriting detection. Drag this guy in. And I'll just choose the path because I placed mine on the desktop. So click the three dots here. Head to desktop. And that's where I keep my handwritten document. Then I click on. Now we just need to output it to a string. So under return text, press control K and say str. And we can say something like str text, not that important, but we call it. And now we can just print it out in the output. So choose a right line and drag this guy in and str text. Should we try it? Then we click run file. We will wait a few seconds while um, the workflow runs and we can go down to output and we can see that we indeed have created uh, or have gotten the handwritten text out. How is your day? However, this uh, is is with uppercase letters. We will get back to this handwritten detection in the next tutorials. And in this tutorials, tutorial, you learned how to set up Google Cloud Vision with UiPath and we created a simple workflow.